let's say I've spent the last week collecting marbles, and I have I have outdone myself. I have several huge bags of marbles, um, and I need to uh, put them into cans to to essentially figure out how many marbles I have. So let's let's start doing it, and then we'll we'll try to see based on looking at the cans how many marbles we have. So let's say I I just start you know I know that I have thousands or you know more than a thousand marbles, so I start filling out a thousand cans. So what color was our thousand can? It was green. It's not always going to be green, but in the examples I'm doing, our thousand cans are green. So let's say I have a thousand can, a thousand can here, and I start pouring the marbles in, and it fills up. It fills up completely all the way. I filled it all the way up, and I still have a lot of marbles left in my collection bag. So I say, boy, I'm probably going to need another another thousand can. So let me get that other thousand can out. So I have another thousand can here, right here. That's my other thousand can. And I start filling that one up. And I fill it up, and that one also fills up all the way to the rim. So you can you can even say, well, how many how many marbles have I put into can so far? Well, this is a thousand. This is a thousand. So so far I've filled up. 2000 2000 marbles 2000 I've already outdone what I did in the previous example by a lot you can think about by how much right so let me let me write that down so this is 1000 can and this is another 1000 can 1000 here and let's say that I look in my bag, and I even start to fill up a, another thousand can, but it doesn't it doesn't fill up all the way. So I'm like, well, the thousand cans aren't useful anymore because it doesn't help me count how many marbles are in the can. So I'm done thousand cans. I now have to fill up the next smaller um, can size, and that's of course the hundred cans. But before we go there, how many total thousand cans have we filled up? Well, one thousand and another thousand. So we have filled up two thousand marbles into these two cans, right? 1,000 plus 1,000, 2,000. Right? Or another way to write it, 2,000. So now, you know, because I can tell that uh, I can't fill up another 1,000 can, I take out my 100 cans. Let's say I have one here. That's one of my 100 cans. And it also fills up with marbles. So I definitely have more than 100 spare after the 2,000. So I have more than 2,100 marbles, you could say. Now take out another 100 can. Take out another 100 can. That one fills up as well. Dum da dum da dum. And you know, these marbles are super small at this, you know, and at this level there. That one fills up. And I take out another one. They're filling up quickly. I've I've collected many, many, many marbles. So there's that's a ton of marbles in there. Not a ton. There's exactly 100, right? I shouldn't say a ton. I mean, unless unless 100 is a ton. Anyway. And then that's and then I take out another can and that one fills up as well. I'm 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 impressed. That fills up as well. Right? And then I try to fill up a fifth. You know, right? So far I fill up I've filled out four hundred cans. And I want to fill out a fifth, but it doesn't fill up all the way. So I'm like, oh well, I can't use hundred cans anymore. I have to go to the next um smallest. So I still have several you know, a good number. I filled I've taken out most of the marbles out of my original marble bag. Uh, but I still have some left, and it's actually less than 100, because I can't fill out another 100 can. So I take out the 10 cans. But before I do that, let's figure out how many 100 cans we have. Well, this is 100. I can just write out the number now, right? That's 100. That's 100 can. That's 100. That's 100. And that's 100. Or you can say, that's 100 can. That's 100 can. But this 100, that's the number of marbles I have, right? So this is going to be a total of how many marbles? How many marbles are in my 400 can? Well, you could say I have four cans of 100 or 100 times 4. Well, any way you look at it, you have 400 cans, 4 times 100. And just as a reminder, you know, I mean, we we did the place notation when we added all up, but this is we're still using the place notation, right? When you put the 4 in this place that's 2 to the left, that tells you how many hundred cans you are. When you go three to the left, one, two, three, that tells you how many thousand cans you have. And so as I said, we don't have we have less than a hundred marbles left, so we go to the ten cans. We go to the ten cans. And let's say, so I fill out one. They're, these are relatively small now, right? Because so I fill out one of them. And I fill out another one of them. 
Let me draw them ahead of time. And then actually fill out two more. Fill out that one, fill out that one. And then I try to fill out a fourth 10 can, but it doesn't fill up. I have it, it's something so I'm almost I've almost emptied out my original bag. I just have a couple of marbles left and it doesn't even fill up a 10 can. And I actually just pour them out and I see that I have I don't know, I have 6 marbles left. And they're going to be small. 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 marbles left. I have six marbles left. So anyway, we haven't we haven't counted the ten can. So how many do we have? This is one ten can. We could call it as one ten. That's a one ten can. That's a one ten can. That's a one ten can. Or we could call this ten marbles. Ten marbles. Ten marbles. So there's a couple of ways we could look at it. We could say, well, we have three ten cans or three tens. Or we could say we have ten plus ten plus ten is equal to 30 marbles. And so we have a total of if we just look at those 3 10 cans that are full of mar full of marbles, we have 30 marbles. And then we have the leftover, right? We didn't have to put these in any cans um, because we don't have a can smaller than a 10 can. So we just leave these uh, these marbles loose and we can just count them directly. It doesn't take it's not too hard to count 6 marbles. And so we just have 6 marbles here. So my question to you is, you know, we did this. I'm organizing it one so that I don't slip on marbles, but also so that I can easily count my marbles. And you can imagine it's much easier to pour a thousand marbles into a can until it fills than to just count, you know, from one to a thousand. So this is helping me count my marbles. So how many total marbles do I have? Well, I have two thousand cans of marbles, so that is two thousand marbles. And then I have four hundred cans of marbles, so that is four. Hundred marbles, and this is, and then I have three ten cans. This isn't a thirty-six. I know my handwriting isn't perfect. That's that's a zero. So I have thirty marbles from the ten cans. Three cans of ten. That's thirty marbles, and then I have six left over. I have six left over, and then we're gonna add them all up. Let me add, make make my addition sign a neutral color. I'm going to add them up, and we get. Let me do, use my neutral color again. Maybe I'll use blue. And we get, what do we say? What's a short way of writing 2,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 6? Well, we said, you know, this, this place that's 3 to the right of this first, of, of the rightmost place, that tells us how many thousand marbles we have, right? So we have 2,000 marbles. And that's, of course, what are all the places? So that's the thousands place. Then we're going to have the hundreds place. We're going to have the tens place, and then we're going to have the ones place, right? So we went one, two, three, three to the left. That's the thousands, and that tells us we have two thousand cans. We have four hundred cans, right? That four, that's where we got the four from, or this four here. That two, we got it from two thousands. And then this place right here tells us how many ten cans we have. Well, we have three ten cans, and that's where that I got this. That three is that three, or this three. And then this, this the rightmost base. Before we learn about decimals, this rightmost base is tells us how many extra marbles did we have that didn't fit into a ten, a hundred, you know, didn't fill up any of the cans, and we have six left over. We have six left over, and that's you know that's just. And that's the ones place. That's kind of you could call them the free marbles. And the way we would read this is two thousand four hundred thirty-six marbles. And that's not too difficult. We could have almost read it before adding them together. We could have said two thousand four hundred thirty-six marbles. So either way you look at it, it's it's hopefully not not too difficult. So actually, let's 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 just do some practice actually reading numbers. So I'm going to write number down and then I want you to, maybe you want to pause it and read it before I write it. So I'm going to write it in a neutral color so I don't give you all these cues. So let's, I'm just going to write this number down. This is, this is a different example from what I was doing. So let's say this is the number. I have to resist the temptation to say it as I write it. And so you might want to pause and, and say it yourself or try to say it um, because I'm about to do it. Well, how do we think about this? Well, as we said, let's let's write it in terms of kind of the number of cans we have, and maybe the colors will help. This eight, 
this 8 number, what does that tell us? That tells us how many free marbles we have in this example. So we have 8 free marbles. If we go one place to the left, we go to the tens place, right? This is the tens place. This is, let me make sure I'm using the tens color, the appropriate color for tens. So this is tens. Tens. I don't know if you can read that. That's tens. This one was ones. Ones, or free marbles. But in the tens place, that tells us how many ten cans we have, or how many groups of ten. Well, we have nine groups of ten, right? Or another way is 90, but let me just write that there, color code it. If we go one more space, that tells us how many cans of 100 we have. I'll just write H for 100, because I'm running out of space. That tells us how many 100 cans we have. And then this, this, this if we go a, a further space to the left, that tells us how many 1,000 cans we have. I'll just write T for 1,000. Right? And if we wanted to do what we did in the previous problem in reverse, we could actually write this as 5,000, 5,000, plus 900, plus 900, plus 90, right? This is 9 tens. 9 times 10 is 90, plus 90. And this is just 8. 8. Let me do a neutral color to add them up. So this equals that. So how do we say it? Well, it's 5,000, 5,000, 900, 900, 98, 5,998. 5,998 is, or 5,998 is read as 5,998. So almost when you read it out, you're essentially just telling people 5,000 or 5,000 cans, 900 or 900 cans, 90 or 910 cans, and 8. 8 cans that didn't fill up you know, a 10 can. And so similarly, let's do one more. Let's do one more. I try to keep my videos under 10 minutes, but you know when I get excited, I just keep going. Let's do one more, and I have to be silent so that I don't, mistakenly. So here's the number. I want you to say it. Pause the video and try to say it. And maybe you want to you know, expand it out, maybe draw cans, do whatever you need to do. This is good practice. So I'm going to do a shortcut. Well, and I hopefully pause now, try it, and I assume you've just paused it, so I will restart it. So let's, let's start here. What was? Well, it's good to start from the left, actually, because when you read it, you read from the left. You start with the biggest number of cans first. So this was what? If you go this, this, you know, two spaces to the wait, one, two, three spaces to the left of this first one. Well, this was what? This was the thousands place, right? This was thousands. Thousands. So what is that? That's six thousand. Six thousand. And then. What is the next place over to the right? Well, that's the hundreds place, right? And you could remember that 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. There's different ways to think about it. So that's hundreds. So we have zero hundreds. Interesting. We couldn't fill, after we filled out the 6,000 cans, we couldn't even fill out a 100 can. And so we had a few left over. We go one more space to the right. That's a 1. And that tells us the number of 10 cans we have. Not 10 cans, 10 cans. So we have one 10 can. And then this last space, what is that? That tells us the number that just free marbles, right? Liberated marbles. So that's just 2. 2 or 2, right? So that's 2. So you could write this, if one wanted to, 6,000. You could say 6,010 but obviously, you probably never heard someone talk like that. And, and actually, you don't even, if there's zero of a certain place, you don't even mention it. So the way you say this is you say there's, this is 6,000. 6,000. You don't say 0, 100. You just say 6,000. And then you don't say 10, 2. What is 10 plus 2? Well, 10 plus 2 is 12, right? So you say this is 6,000 and 12. 12 marbles. But if you were to expand it out, it would be 6,000. It would be, let me write that down, 6,000 plus, plus 10 plus 2. And obviously, the hundreds, I could write the zero hundreds there. Right? 0 times 100. 0 times 100. Maybe that would be three zeros in a row. I don't know. No, I shouldn't confuse you like that. So 6,000 plus zero hundreds plus 10 plus 2. You could say 6,010 2. That doesn't 
sound good. So people say 6,012. And so that might be a little less intuitive, but uh, hopefully you get the sense for it. I will see you in the next video.